if we are going to save our planet. When Alexandria and I introduced the Green New Deal in February of 2019, it was called pie in the sky. Yeah. It was called politically infeasible. It was called unrealistic. And then we had an election in 2020. And the Sunrise Movement rose up and injected itself into race after race across our country. And reinforcements are now arriving in Congress. Corey and Jamal and Mondaire all represent this revolution changing the way in which people see the issue of climate change in our lives. And this isn't a matter of moving to the left. It's a matter of doing what's right. That is what happened. Right. That is what people right. saw yeah. over the last two years. Young people rose up and young people voted in unprecedentedly high numbers. And their number one issue was the climate crisis. Yes. Alexandria talked about my race. In 2018 in Massachusetts, 18 to 34 year olds represented 12% of the total vote. Yeah. In 2020, it represented 19% of the total vote. Woo. And their number one issue was the climate crisis. And so there's an IOU, there's a, there's a debt now to these young people because they did rise up, they did the right thing. They played by the rules. And what they know is that the planet is dangerously warming and there are no emergency rooms for planets. And they also know that we can solve this problem by massive deployment of wind and solar and all electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids and battery storage technologies and energy efficiency and energy conservation technologies. And we can create millions of new jobs. We can save all of creation by engaging in massive job creation. That is what we are going to do. And we know, and we know that in the Biden plan, a $2 trillion plan that 40% of the funding is going to be designated for communities of color. That 40% of the money is going to be dealing with the obvious reality that black and brown communities have always breathed different air than white suburban communities in the United States of America. And we can see that in the coronavirus crisis where black and brown communities close to the pollution have the highest levels of coronavirus as well because they're both respiratory illnesses. We can see that. And so we're at a moment right now where the fossil fuel industry is descending on Washington, D.C. And they want to call the Green New Deal socialism. And you know what our answer is? What do you call 100 years of tax breaks for the oil and the gas and the coal industry. And what we're saying is, give us the same breaks for wind and solar and all electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids and battery storage technologies, and we will bury the fossil fuel industry. That is what this fight is all about. We are gonna take them on every single day. We are gonna make sure that those young people those sunrise organizers realize this political payback that they have fought for. And so for me, uh, this is the moment. And these new, incredibly great leaders are coming over the hill as the reinforcements because there has been not just a moment, but a movement that has changed our country and it's going to continue to change our country. So we're just here to say that we want and we ask Joe Biden to be brave, 
to be big, to be bold, to ensure that we put in place the kinds of policies that are going to fundamentally transform the relationship which exists between the people of our country and this climate, and that we do so with intersectionality. We do so with communities of color at the front of the line. We do so recognizing the historic injustices and that we take what was considered to be a pie in the sky proposal, the Green New Deal that Alexandria and I introduced two years ago, which does not seem so crazy any longer because it will create the jobs that we need and it will provide the justice that our country has been desperate to have for generations. Thank you all so much. For